You all right? You all right? Oh dear. I kind of like you. Hello, welcome back. It, it's been a while. So where have I been, what have I been doing, and why have I not put some vids out in a few weeks? Well, where do I begin? It's been an up and down kind of three weeks, I think. And it all started when Big Tin, which is a nine-year-old girl. I don't want to go too much into it because I know if she watches this, she won't appreciate it. <laughs> she complained a few weeks back about, you know, having blood in her wee and things. So we kept an eye on it and after a couple of days, we took her to the doctors. The doctor gave her some cream, which we used for a week. Uh, she still had pain when she was weeing and still traces of blood in there too so we took her back again uh, they gave her some antibiotics which helped a little to clear it up a little bit but then she was still complaining about pain when she wheezed so then I had to take her back because uh, we had to give a urine and blood sample so we took her back with that she was very brave the first time very brave indeed. She had it all done with very little problems at all. And within a day, they got back to us with results. Uh, and they said that she had a virus or something because her blood had come back with a problem. And a few days before that result, she was being sick and throwing up and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, she had a bit of a virus and I explained that to them. So I had to take her back to give more blood which was difficult because she knew what was coming <laughs> and then they call back the next day saying okay she needs to see the doctor so a few days after that we had to go to the doctors take her with us and uh, speak to the doctor about it we spent an hour talking to the doctor and he just wanted to double check everything with her and we gave as much information as we could give with her input obviously as well and it got to the point where we're nearing the end and he said does anybody in your family have any kidney issues which unfortunately we do and i don't know if many of you know what this is but i have something called duplex kidney i went in for an ultrasound and it was found that i had duplex kidneys now it is on both sides um, they didn't go into the full extent of what type of duplex kidney I have because there are different sorts and when they did the ultrasound scan on me that they weren't even looking for that they were doing something else so they stumbled upon the fact that I've got duplex kidneys <laughs> now please forgive me I'm not a doctor I don't know the ins and outs of the human body that well except it poos and weeds and eats and that's it it could be that you've just got the extra I don't know, I'm not. It could be that you've got the extra like connections to your kidneys. That's not a scientific way of saying it, I know, but I uh, have the best I can do at the moment. <laughs> or I believe it could be that you have an enlarged kidney with extra connections. Or it could be you've got more kidneys than the average human being. So it's classed as a genetic mutation. So, I am a mutant, not of the Wolverine style. <laughs> um, I'm kind of hoping it is that because it can be monitored, treated. You know, she will be checked on for infections and this, that, and the other, and all that kind of stuff. So, tomorrow I've got to go take her to get some more bloods done, more wee samples. And then on the 30th, I've got to take her to get an ultrasound scan on her kidneys to see if she's got what daddy's got which I'll be honest with you isn't the first time she would have had what daddy's got because daddy when he was born which is me I was born with my tongue stuck to my bottom lip now anyone that's met me and has paid any close attention to my ugly mug 
you have seen I've got a scar in the centre of my lower lip and that's because my tongue was stuck to my bottom lip and it wasn't picked up until I started talking which you know is a bit late for it to be picked up so I had to have surgery and I still carry the scars for that on my bottom lip and along my tongue and Big Tin was actually born with the same thing but we picked up on it at birth and it was corrected at birth so she doesn't even realise she had it so that's uh, taken up a lot of time obviously family does come first always comes first, always comes first uh, and then the week I'm sort of backtracking but the week after she was sick before we did all the bloods and all this that and the other uh, the little one, Tiny Tim was sick like vomiting, diarrhoea, everything and then that week then we we bought a new car so I've got to put the old car on Gumtree yet so to see if I can get a couple of hundred quid for that so that's another thing that's going to take time to do and then week before last I was working overtime uh, and again we had to take Big Tim to get her blood and things done still I started the shift and halfway through my shift I felt really ill and I literally just emptied, my body just emptied, it really did like out of both ends you know like when your body's preparing you for, for a traumatic experience and you start shaking and you get the sweats, it was like that and I couldn't stop it and I was puking, pooping, everything it was a horrific experience for me so yeah I had that and then the wife had it the day after with the little one again <laughs> Uh, Big Tim managed to avoid it this time and then we had half term week off we were lucky enough to be able to book a holiday uh, it was lovely we had a lovely time and it was chilled out you know we had a hot tub and let me tell you after the, the few days before we all just sat in the hot tub and me and the wife had a beer watching the sunset and it was very relaxing it was we were just sat there talking it was great it was great and then we did lots of things for the kids and went and ate out and things because we we're all feeling better to do it it was fun so that's one of the reasons why i haven't been able to get out and bike work sickness running big tin back and forth to the hospital for bloods this that and the other which i still have to do holiday <laughs> So I need to try and squeeze in a couple of vlogs now, this is one of them. So, you know, if you do subscribe, please stick around. I am really trying hard to get out. It's difficult to get out when you have other priorities that you need to keep in track of and other people to look after in your life. But try and do the bloody earplug review, which I've been trying to do for weeks. And I did actually get out for a little while and record this will be like the third time I've done it and uh, I like to keep things fresh when I do recording and things and if I use a recording from like three four weeks ago it would just feel old it really would so I'm gonna go get that done so I kind of felt I had to check in with you and give you an explanation I know I don't have to explain to you but I thought to give you an explanation as to where I've been what I've been doing how tricky things have been and things are gonna get trickier tell you now like tomorrow is the wife's birthday <laughs> I'm gonna take big tip to the hospital again and then I got work the day after back to the old routine but let's uh, end this video with a little wheelie what do you reckon should we try it oh that was tiny <laughs> next time 